Hi everybody, Indigeo is back and um, in the run-up we had our doubts. So will the visitors come back? How will be the feeling in the halls? Will it be vibrant? Will it be crowdy? And I can tell you, it is, they are all back again. And we are so happy. We have people from all over the world, nearly almost from all over the world. And I'm really happy that one of them has found his way here to Intergeo TV from Brazil. And I would like to say hi to Bruno Krensky. Welcome. Hello, Denise. <laughs> well, and Bruno, we know each other for several years, but the last time you were able to travel was before the pandemic. It was three years ago. Yes. Wow, how is your feeling to be back again? Oh, it's really good to be back again. Uh, I can see my friends from the last year and I see a lot uh, of people ev from everywhere from the world and it's really good to be a surveyor and to be and to be here and see the news and new technologies mm -hmm. and to in the future uh, bring this technology to our work in Brazil. Mm, yeah and Bruno you wear kind of two hats you have a company you're working for it's Top Terra and you also have a kind of YouTube channel you're an influencer and geodetic influencer and surveyor with uh, the measuring masters platform and uh, when you have a look at Intergeo what did develop the most within the th last three years what kind of technique did you see was it more hardware software or what did you discover oh uh, in the first time I come uh, to interview I see a lot of laser scanners and this time the, the thing is different is the autonomy uh, we see the robot the dog and a lot of autonomous uh, surveying equipment and this is the biggest difference from the last year uh, the last time I I come here. Okay, more autonomous um, kind of surveying uh, vehicles or yeah, things to use. Yes. Wow, that's really cool. So let's start with the news because it's not only um, Bruno who came here from Brazil. There are several other people coming from all over the world to interview. And here are some representatives we interviewed here in the halls for you. You are from Indonesia. Now we have a group of visitors from Finland. Our next guest comes from the Ukraine and now we go to Brazil. Uh, my first feeling is how big is this exposition? It's much bigger than I thought it would be. So right now I can see there's a lot of Kyo spatial industries. People are very friendly. It's a lot of interesting stuff. People are des describing very well. All the companies and all the new innovations are really interesting. It's an amazing opportunity to know about new software stuff and equipment. There's a lot of career opportunities you can look at and yeah, just scout. I activity locally a new client here. That's what I'm interested. It has been a good experience, all in all. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, really glad that you're all back at Indigeo. So now let's have a look at the conference. And there, Professor Hans-Jörg Kutterer, president of the DVW, opened the session with a message. Our country and the challenges of our time need geodesy, geoinformation and land management. So the opening keynotes were under the motto, when the digital twin becomes a smart twin. And to honor outstanding achievements in the disciplines, the DVW awarded the future prize for the first time to the project Connected Urban Twins, in which the cities of Hamburg, Leipzig and Munich are working on the development of digital twins. Thomas Eichhorn, CEO of the State Office for Geoinformation and Surveying in Hamburg, presented in his keynote the state of the digital twin in Hamburg. The twin is being used extensively and is growing steadily. We can look forward to seeing where the numerous applications will lead. And digital twins are one of the topics at Intergeo 2022. Dr. Jürgen Dolt, Executive Vice President Hexagon, inspired the audience with his topic Mirror Worlds. His vision of a digital twin Germany based on LiDAR data takes already shape in parts. And mirror world is another word for digital twin or digital reality or metaverse. I think it's on the agenda of uh, 
quite some cities in, in Germany to, to basically get a better understanding how to manage the digital world and, and how to interact with the digital world, with the digital twins, um, with the needs and, and planning needs and maintenance needs of the cities. Digital twins will help to more efficiently plan new construction, new land management projects. Um, it will help us through simulations to get ahead of problems, um, which means you, you make flood simulations and you know what the flood would do in certain areas to prevent damage for people and, and uh, infrastructure. So there is uh, quite some, some uh, activities around that to be more efficient in managing the country. So here are some appointments that you should not miss on Wednesday. The conference shows how digital and intelligent construction works. There's a jump start for engineering firms dealing with the use of BIM and it is about the integration of BIM and GIS and infrastructures planning. And with BIM in Hall 3 on the expo stage, the focus in the morning will be on the geodata collection. It starts at 10 a.m. And in Hall 2, the afternoon belongs to the youngsters. The Council of European Geodetic Surveyors presents its awards for outstanding young surveyors. So have fun at Intergeo!